Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum. That's that greeting of peace, peace be unto you. My name is Eddie and I'm the host of the Dean Show and we are here at the second annual Journey of Faith Conference. So why are all these Muslims coming together under one roof? That's because it's a journey to Allah. Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi Eddie from the Dean Show, my brother. <laughs> happy to meet you, Akhi. Give a hug. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Uh, inshallah, brothers and sisters, we're happy that we're again meeting our brother from Chicago, Eddie from the Dean Show. Welcome into our city, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Bra! This is where we, <laughs> we practice the Strictly Sunnah Boys here, inshallah ta'ala. We're very happy to be here again and to spend time with our brother and to benefit from the Muslims and the atmosphere here, the, the knowledge. The knowledge. Which shake is just talking about? Uh, right now, they're just testing the machines. How's it going? They want to know why you have the headphones on. Talk to us. Uh, well, I have the headphone on because he's pretending we're he's important. Yeah, we're <laughs> pretending we're important. So, are you with the FBI? Um, I'm joking. We're just trying to break some ice. Yeah. You brothers are doing some wonderful work. Khair. Tell us, Uyak, tell us now, real quickly, you guys are doing some wonderful work. What goes into something like this? A lot of hours, a lot of uh, sleepless nights. You gotta walk and talk, are you the police? No, 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 I'm no police. I'm no police. I'm just another volunteer like everyone else. But tell us, you're here. It's Friday night. What brings you here to volunteer your time, put all this effort into helping out this good Definitely. organization? You know what? At the end of the day, subhanAllah, it's all for Allah Azza wa Jal. And, um, you know, we just gotta do it for Him and Him only, right? So. I'm volunteering, putting my hours, inshallah, may Allah, you know, bless our efforts and, uh, you know, accept them. That's the main thing, inshallah. And that's, that's the only reason I'm here for. So, alhamdulillah, you know, just make dua. Dua is our most powerful weapon we have. And if we all cumulatively make dua, we can, inshallah, succeed in, in this life and also the hereafter. And may all the volunteers and everyone's efforts be accepted. You said dua and you said weapon. Some people might get a, a conception. conception. Tell them, what do you mean dua? Translate dua. What I mean is that we don't realize as Muslims sometimes how powerful a dua can be. What does dua mean? Dua means praying to God. And absolutely. So we basically have to, inshallah, you know, pray to God, yeah, make dua, dua, make strong dua, and have the, have the taqwa and the niyyah and be honest with, with everything you ask and that's about it inshallah this is where ones who have submitted themselves their entire selves to the creator of the heavens and the earth are taking a time out from the rat race of life and prostrating themselves to the one who gave them the ability to do the many things they that they do throughout the day. The one God who's given them the ability to be here, who's given them the air that they breathe, the food that they eat, the eyes that they see with, the ears that they hear with. This is the God who Jesus, Muhammad, Moses, all the messengers of God, peace be upon them, they prayed this way. They prayed to the one God who created the sun and the moon who created man and woman, but is not a man or woman. In Arabic, we say Allah. And we're at the journey of faith, and you're witnessing the prayer. In Arabic, Salat. Look at these beautiful positions that the Muslims go through minimum five times a day, prostrating to the one God, to the one Creator. Light on the tongue, heavy on the scale. Light on the tongue, heavy on the scale. La ilaha illallah. You're a young man. You're sacrificing days, nights, nice weekends. Many people out at the clubs. Youth, it's, it's, it's a reality. The youth out there today are doing a lot of things they shouldn't be doing. You're a young man. What drives you to be at a place like this, doing this good thing instead of the bad? Basically, paradise. 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 Yes. We want this. Is this is the, we're looking for uh, the the green the green which is ajr, which is deeds, doing good deeds good for deeds. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which inshallah will get accepted and day of judgment and we'll get paradise. One person being guided through you is better than the whole world and and, and everything in it. Pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Um, I, think I should work for the hereafter more than I work for the dunya and that's it. Because this life is short. This life is short. Next life is forever. 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 Ever. Forever. Yeah. Once again, working with the, the team, the brothers, 
uh, his brothers and sisters that are working on this uh, on this convention. So it's what do I say? It's uplifting to the iman and the soul. This, inshallah, Allah accept this and show us with His blessings. Same reason that you do. We're here at the Journey of Faith, and we're in the bazaar. Some different booths. Right now, people are setting up. This is the lunch area. People here will be coming together to eat some halal uh, chicken. You see everybody's busy, people volunteering their time. It's good we get the youth, youth off the street, and we get the youth busy because while the youth are ta chasing the dunyas, their parents have to be really educating them about this beautiful way of life, the way of life of all the messengers, and the last and final messenger sent to mankind, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if they educate them properly and get them involved in act activities like this, they're going to be better off. Less of a chance of them getting involved in gangs, less of a chance of them getting locked up, less of a chance of them ending up in boyfriend-girlfriend relationships, things that are not productive for themselves, for their families, or society. So get them involved with the journey of faith. What goes into putting an event, a fabulous event like this together? I think it's a lot of dedication, hard work. A lot of patience, a lot of time, uh, a dedicated team, um, a very you know, hardworking team. So you have to have a lot of unity and everybody on the same page. We are uh, coming up on Noah. Noah was one of the prophets of God, but he's not Noah the prophet, but this is Noah the man. He's on the phone. He is also one of the... <laughs> <laughs> Brothers here, uh, who is uh, doing a lot of good work. Tell us, what goes into something like this? A big conference, a lot of people, a lot of responsibility. SubhanAllah, it's a lot of hard work and um, you won't believe the hours that the organizers put into a conference like this. And this is one of the brothers who is uh, really putting a lot of work into making it happen. What does it take to actually make something like this happen? you got thousands and thousands of people here. You're doing some wonderful work. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I feel honored to be interviewed by uh, the famous Eddie and the, de and the Dean Show. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair. Um, um, quite frankly, it takes a lot of work, a lot of ha effort, and a lot of dedicated individuals. Um, without the help of hundreds, this couldn't have been possible. It's not a, it's not a one man show, it's not a two or three man show, a a as everyone can imagine. There's quite a bit involved here. Uh, and Alhamdulillah, without the hundreds of volunteers, without the great Shura members we have, without all the, of the dedicated extended team we had this year, um, you've seen the conference grow twice in, 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 in one year, you've seen it double. So without the, 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 re the really dedicated people, this wouldn't have been possible. It's a lot of work. Um, our families can attest to that. And inshallah, they forgive us for, 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 uh, for the amount we've put in and, and time we've left them alone. But. Uh, as, inshallah, everyone can witness, it's, it's been well worth the effort, alhamdulillah. Well, you see, we have about 600 volunteers who've been working constantly. All the organizing team have probably have not even caught one lecture. Um, and that's how it's been for, for the most of it. Uh, I'm not sure about most of the volunteers, but I know for the organizing team, they've been working hard from 7 a.m. till 1 a.m. Every, every day. So it's been a hectic day for the whole organizing team. Excuse me, does anybody know where our Tanvir is? Is that you? Stop. Don't move. Come here. This is the busiest man. This is the man who's making things roll here. This is the man who's the mastermind along with a lot of, a lot of other people all together working cohesively together as one unit. But this brother, mashallah, is doing a lot of good work. What goes into making something like this happen? Talk to us, brother. Putting him on the spot, but he's got to talk now. That's it. Okay. Bismillah rahim Of course, uh, I mean... Lots of planning, lots of coordination, months of hard work, sleepless nights, 20 hours a day you gotta pull it. Sometimes you can't sleep, sometimes you have to go for 48 hours because there are tons of work, lots of people to manage, and you can see the chaos. That's how it results. First thing that I have to acknowledge is this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's the theme this year? The theme is Journey to Allah. Uh, journey to all God Almighty, the Creator. Talk to us, what's going on this year? Alhamdulillah, it's going to be a big bang, inshallah. I mean, literally a big bang. It's going to be, uh, inshallah, it's going to be hot. As you know, the brothers and the sisters are working. Alhamdulillah, we have 600, 600 volunteers. All of them, as I said, volunteers. None of them are paid for anything. Yet, mashallah, tabarakallah, the number of, number, of, number of hours that they put just to make this thing happen, 
is countless hours. Walillahi alhamd. I mean, literally a big bang. It's going to be, uh, inshallah, it's going to be hot. Things inshallah. blowing up. I mean, people are already associating Muslims with things blowing up. What, do you <laughs> what, I, what I'm saying is it's going to be a big bang, as in Muslims getting together. We're going to be doing something good for the Muslim community. I don't know if you guys know, but for the first time in North America, Muslims are actually going out. A Muslim event is happening, and they're going out advertising in public. We have TTC, we have Muslim transportation, where Journey of Faith names are all over the buses. Alhamdulillah. For those people now that want to support, they want to help. How can they help? They can visit the, the uh, website and they can submit any queries to us at uh, info at journeyconference.com. So we're recruiting people for next year's conference. So if someone wants to get involved with organization or marketing or sales or, or anything, we're actually recruiting people right now. Other thing is, I think is, uh, is about planning and having big names like Zakir Nair, Bilal Film, Abdullah Hakim, or Abdullah Hakim Quick and others and alhamdulillah I think the ummah at this time in the city of uh, Toronto they also need something unique and journey of faith presents something very unique um, it's all about following the sunnah of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam following the Quran strictly and at the same time be able to live with the society that we are part of Bismillah alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum we're here at the journey of faith we brought you the behind the scenes when things were getting set up now things are getting close to a finale we have a brother here we want to get some feedback from the people that were here so those that didn't make it this year can make the intention and put forth the effort that they can be here next year so let's talk to some people get some feedback on how their experiences I work. think it's a fantastic conference uh, we've had a number of uh, great speeches here and great uh, uh, interactions with the uh, with the speakers uh, it's been excellent because we've had a number of people also accepting dawah and accepting the dawah of Islam and then also embracing Islam as well uh, it's the best thing that, that ever happened to me for the people that couldn't make it this year 2010 is gonna be coming around what do you got to say if you weren't here this year the only thing I can say is you need to get the DVD set or the CD set and listen to what went on here. Alhamdulillah, it was an amazing conference. A lot of uh, major sheikhs that were able to give us a lot of insight onto a lot of different topics um, that are not usually touched on in English. So we're able to actually get a lot of the things that some of us who are not Arabic speaking were able to actually get on. So Alhamdulillah, it was excellent. I'll say speak to the people that have sh showed up this year because everybody, all the testimonials I've gotten were fantastic. Uh, alhamdulillah, it was very good. I like all the speakers, ex especially I like Da, I like uh, Shah Yahya Ibrahim, Shah Tafik Chaudhry, and uh, Shah Yahya Saeed Raga. Tell us, is this a private event because there's a lot of Muslims? Should a non-Muslim be scared to come to over like this, or is this open to non-Muslims if they want to attend? Alhamdulillah, this year. Some of young uh, sisters, they proposed an idea and they said, last year we only had three people accepted Islam. He said, this, they said, this year let us bring 100 non-Muslims, only 100 alhamdulillah, and let us invite them to the event. And if they don't accept Islam, at least they know something about Islam. So that's what we did. We invited non-Muslims, knowing that Zakir Nai, Dr. Zakir Nai is here and inshallah we would be able to convince them. And alhamdulillah, Next year we're planning to have a bigger session for non-Muslims. And show the beauty of Islam through our affairs, through our conduct, through our proceedings, through our teachings, what we're doing. And hence, we had, even today, we had two non-Muslim sessions today. Q&A session with Dr. Zakir Naik, Dr. Abu Amina, Bilal Phillips. I don't think anyone has ever had that in the Western Hemisphere especially. Alhamdulillah, we had had the opportunity to do that. We had another Q&A session for non-Muslims with Dr. Abdul Hakim Kuig, Dr. Abu Amina, Bilal Phillips. And inshallah, we are hoping perhaps one day to do a conference just for non-Muslims, inshallah. We are aiming for 500 bi idnillah non-Muslims. And by the way, all the non-Muslim tickets was sponsored by Muslims for other Muslims who are also seeking the ajr. So inshallah, if I purchase a ticket for a non-Muslim and that non-Muslim accepts Islam, I'll get the reward. I'll take that risk. And this is what we do, what I call business with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everybody wants to do business with Allah. So the brothers and the sisters who are not here this year, inshallah, no worries. Next year, will be subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will be bigger, it will be greater, and inshallah, you will see a lot more activities. It's completely open to non-Muslims. As a matter of fact, we have uh, guest passes just for non-Muslims. We have uh, a lot of non-Muslims who attend as, uh, as our guests, um, completely free. Uh, there's, no, there's no pressure to become a Muslim or anything like that. It was great. The lectures were incredible. I loved the speakers. 
and out of all of them, my favorite was Sheikh Saeed Raga. How was the, how was the conference? Alhamdulillah, it was really good. It's fun. Yeah, very much. Yeah, I loved it too. I loved it too. Yeah, it was very good. It was the best conference I've ever been to. Uh, conference was really good, yeah. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik was a good guy too. And uh, the other speaker, Sheikh Saeed, and yeah, all the other ones, I can't remember the name, but yeah, they're good. I liked it. I hope that everybody come next year. Who's your favorite speaker? Um, Dr. Zakir Naiki and Dr. Sheikh, um, Sheikh Saeed Raja. So, Dr. Zakir Naiki? Yeah. No, Nike. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. You're going to be here 2010? Shut a life I live. I had a lot of fun. The favorite one of my lectures was Dr. Zakir Nak. I got to meet him once, but it was a great experience, and I wish we can do it again. Uh, the journey of faith 2009 was an incredible experience. Alhamdulillah, there were many uh, non-Muslims who have come to the religion of Islam. The conference journey of faith 2 was absolutely amazing also i'd like to congratulate those of the people those of the guests the non-muslim guests who have converted to islam mashallah uh, it's the best thing that, that ever happened to me for the people that couldn't make it this year 2010 is going to be coming around what do you got to say don't miss it, That's it. simple that as that, that don't miss it exactly thank you. thank you um i would i would tell you do what you need to do to get here uh, un this is an unbelievable uh, and expandable experience. Uh, you have to definitely try and make it. Um, it's one of the most profound um, conferences that are available right now in Toronto. You don't have to travel far. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you guys, but you have to make it out, inshallah. It's an amazing, amazing conference. And we'd be happy to have you as our guest here and to be able to uh, have you as one of those people who we can interact with and we can share because uh, sharing is caring. You need to get the DVD set. I mean, 2010, inshallah, we'll be, we are hoping, inshallah, it will be more exciting, perhaps multiple sides of this attendance, inshallah. We're hoping perhaps, inshallah, with Peace TV and Dr. Zakir Naik, we can have a larger initiative, inshallah. Mark it off in your calendars. Do whatever you need to do to mark down the Journey of Faith conference next year. It is something that you should try your best not to miss. Absolutely try, absolutely try to make it, make it next year. It is, it is amazing. It is a don't miss event. If you cannot, if you couldn't make it this year, please try to make it next year. Just like a lot you need to get down yet. <laughs> I like the conference. I like. I like. I really like the lecture. We we brought in some professionals. I really like uh, Brother Bill of Phillips. He he taught me a lot, and I like. I really liked it. The the marketing and stuff. It was really nice. Uh, it's the best thing that, that ever happened to me. When one of the speakers or any of the speakers is speaking, everybody come and listen. So why everybody has to come and listen? Where all the other conferences, you will find some speakers talking and everywhere else roaming around, you know, this place and that place. There is something unique about the speakers and the method of the speakers and how we organize. So I request and I encourage everyone who was not here this year, make sure you don't miss your opportunity next year, Bi'idni subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you very much. May God Almighty Allah, the creator of the heavens, reward you and everybody involved with this. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And I recommend Dean show for every Muslim and not Muslim and not because he's here I've watched it through YouTube it's excellent work and Alhamdulillah it's excellent way of giving Dawah keep it up Alhamdulillah 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 thank you and we showed you the behind the scenes this place is jam-packed so make your intention and make sure you're here for 2010 2011 2012 every year at the journey of faith Everyone can come back next year to this conference. Don't miss it. You get a few bad people, the media grabs a hold of that and spins it the way they want to. If you say that you do not believe in Jesus, you have stepped outside of Islam. You cannot be a Muslim. It is attended our faith to...